stop this flame. The sound. The sound of Cumbria. Your town, your stories. BBC. Radio Cumbria. Gosh, can you believe we're actually into the final week of Your Town, Your Stories? Yeah, this is our annual series where we base ourselves in one part of Cumbria to really get under its skin. And we've been focusing on Kendall this year. We've had a great time. Yeah, we've heard about new businesses opening on the high street. We've heard about the various ways charities are helping people. And we've even, along the way, had a love story. Oh, I know. Well, the Oakley Trust got in touch with us as well to tell us about a very unusual and enterprising service it runs for adults with learning difficulties. BBC Radio Cumbria's Belinda Artingstom has been to the furniture warehouse in Kendall, where they breathe new life into items otherwise heading for the tip. When you walk into the building, it's very obvious that they sell furniture here. We've got three nice sofas, a couple of leather ones tables and chairs and even a set of bunk beds and to think that all of this could have gone to landfill. Hello my name is Chris Panteis, I'm the project manager here at the Furniture Warehouse which is part of Flight to Work and in turn is part of the Oakley Trust. We have the contract with South Haven District Council to collect their bulky waste furniture items. So if somebody's got a sofa for example they want to get rid of they'll contact the council, those details then come to us and we contact the customer and arrange to go and collect it. And then once it arrives here what happens? Well, if it's in a saleable condition or nearly saleable condition, we'll put it out for sale. We also have a team of reupholstery learners who can perhaps refurbish a bit of furniture. So we have a couple of options there of trying to put it out for sale for members of the public. Alternatively, if it's not resaleable, we will deconstruct it. So taking that sofa, for example, we'll, um, we'll break it down into its constituent components. So we'll have a pile of timber, a pile of metal and a pile of fabric, and the timber and the metal get recycled. On average, we divert about 130 tonnes away from landfill each year. Hello, my name's Liam. And what do you enjoy doing here, Liam? Stripping furniture and taking the fabric off. So you like breaking things up, do you? You like a bit of destruction? Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, yeah, strategic destruction. Strategic destruction. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's a good way of putting it, isn't it? <laughs> What's it like working with all of the other guys here? Should we say it's interesting? No two days are the same as in the least. My name's uh, Steve Rudd. I'm a, one of the job coaches. You must see the guys change over time. Do they build in confidence? Yeah, we've had some lads that have come in in the past two to three months. Very sort of like, um, quiet, introverted, as it were, um, not believing in that they have any skills. If, you know, some might think, say, oh, well, it's just using a screwdriver or just using a hammer and a chisel. But if you've never used those tools before, uh, and then you show them, and you show them, and you show them, and they pick up, and then you see their confidence grow when they learn how to do a task. This is the um, upholstery workshop where we have um, sort of half the, the space is used as a workshop for doing upholstery, painting furniture, stripping it down. Customers can come in and they can see us working and hopefully buy lots of chairs as well. Hello, my name's Claire Kerr. I'm the upholstery tutor at Right to Work. Very skilled work. Yeah, it is. It is quite demanding. I mean, obviously, the learners that come in, there's a huge range of abilities, but there's something that everybody can do. And actually, one or two of the learners are really skilled now. They're incredibly competent with hand tools and power tools. And and some of them have even gone on to get professional qualifications, I Yes, Jen, Jen, Jen and Claire have got uh, upholstery qualifications. They passed about two years ago now. So it's just really good. It's been amazingly uh, fantastic for their confidence, and as well as the furniture that comes in from the collections, people can actually bring in commissions to you, can't they? How does yes. that work? Um, well, a lot of the commissions are from people who come into the shop as customers and realise that we are doing commissions. So we do... Actually, today, we haven't got any, but we've had loads. We've just done all of the chairs for a village hall, which was 60 chairs, which was quite a lot of green chairs. Everything from last week, we did somebody's um, child's chair that they'd had as a child, and they, we did it up and totally reupholstered it for their grandchild. 
It's a very nice workmanship. This wing-back chair caught my eye when I it's came lovely, in. It's isn't it? Yeah. That was made with um, the very last of uh, that nice checked Tweedy stuff. We haven't got any more, so we need to get some more. Because it's, it's quite interesting what sells and doesn't sell. But anything in tweed or checked or plaid or tartan goes. Oh, and velvet also. But it is a nice one. It needs to be by someone's fire. Yeah. Yeah. This chair here. Oh, this yellow chair. Yeah. And what we'll do, we'll do... Um, this, we need to take this off first, got the staples out. And when we need to um, paint it, put it up, it's all a bit scratched. That's the original colour, this is for the buttons. Oh, so we've got a lovely yeah. flowery fabric yeah. and then the button, dark green for the buttons. Yeah, so it'll go on nice. So Claire, what do you enjoy about doing this work? It's like new skills and getting out and mixing with people. And what does it feel like when you see a finished piece it's that just, you've worked on? It's really cool because just think, oh, that's going to be in somebody's house and I've made that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and it'll be there for years to come as well. Yeah, it'll be, yeah, be there for years and years. Like, And when you're given a year of life, it would have been chucked in the landfill otherwise. And how important do you think it is for, I suppose, the wider public to see the guys here doing what they do? Our learners here do perform a really valuable community service. As I say, we're diverting 130 tonnes away from landfill each year. But yeah, they are ambassadors for people with learning difficulties. You know, they're showing that everybody's got something to give. <laughs> Giving that welly as well. Uh, wonderful. Listening to the team there at the Furniture Warehouse in Kendall, speaking to BBC Radio Cumbria's Belinda Ottingstall about the work they do, breathing new life into old furniture. Can they do it with humans, do you reckon? <laughs> do you think I could, I could go along and get a bit of a makeover? 